Hi folks, a very warm welcome to you. My name is Nick and we're going to delve back into the ZX Spectrum in this wonderful 8-bit land. We're going to be looking at a Lunar Attack published by Ksoft in 1984. It was a budget title this, £1.99, based on the arcade cabinet of Scramble by Konami in 1981. So basically you're a ship, um, you must go over a terrain, um, bombing rockets, shooting them and get into the end, avoiding them. So here we are, a little bit flickery, uh, but 1984, not too bad. Let's see how long I can survive. So these blue rockets will take off and try and intercept you. Your fuel's ticking down as well. You can refuel that by shooting um, flashy boxes with the letter F in. Right, okay, so remember to blink when playing these games. Um, other scramble conversions on the spectrum were Penetrator and Cavern Fighter. This one doesn't seem to play too badly. Uh, you've got more room to work with than Cavern Fighter, although I think I'd prefer Penetrator, but probably because that was the first one I played. Oh my good, accelerate. So you can go uh, back, well, P and O backward and forward on the screen to a limited degree. Um, fire and drop bombs, but try and fire as much as you can. I'm doing a lot better on this than I thought I would. If you had this one back in the day, let me know. Based on Scramble, as I say, from 1981. Well, some asteroids there, let's get around that. Collision with any of the scenery or any of the rockets would be instant death. Or oh, we just caught the back end there. But very interesting looking ship, this. I'm not sure if we're flying through space or going through a water land. I think there's a backstory that we're trying to save Atlantis, I think. So they might be jellyfish rather than uh, meteors. Let's save Atlantis. Now what's clever about this, you see the terrain there on the bottom left, that's scrolling across and it seems quite accurate from what I'm seeing. If I don't get very far I will put a poke on it for infinite lives just so we can see the whole game. And I've died! Oh, it's a death march there using quite a lot of games that, it has to be said. But for £1.99, uh, although the game is basic, £1.99 you can't go wrong. 1984 offered great value for money, although I prefer Penetrator, but a few people would have preferred this one uh, as well. Cavern Fighter is quite good, got a lot of colour to it, but as I say, there's not much room to work with here, so this is a little bit more kinder to your gameplay. Bit of an odd keyboard layout there, but you can fire and bomb pretty much at the same time. We're only like a small delay between those. So it's just getting the pattern of when the rockets take off, trying to make them take off before you get to them or accelerating across, which I didn't do there. I don't think there's too many levels to this one, but we'll soon find out. If I don't get to the end on this go, we will put a poke in it just out of interest. So graphics is good, bit flickery on the scrolling, but all right for the era. Doesn't seem to be any uh, color clash at all, but I don't think there's much opportunity for there to be color clash anyway, because as soon as something hits you, you're dead uh, straight away. Go, go, go. I never um, played Scramble in the arcades. If you did, then comment below. How close is this to that one? And uh, if you know any other Scramble games on the ZX Spectrum, separate from Penetrator or Cavern Fighter, then comment that also, and I'll pencil it in to have a look at that at some point. So let's put a poke in now. Lunar, attack! Does look like it's underwater though, so anyway. So it should have infinite lives here, I hope. Let's go through. Right, under the sea, under the sea, or in space, one of the two. I don't know why there'd be radar dishes on the bottom of the ocean though, so I'm a bit in two minds whether this is space or the water anyway, but the premise is still the same. I'm not quite sure how they programmed that terrain going in. I keep looking at the real terrain and that, and it does look quite accurate what's going on, so that is very clever. That is a lot smoother than the actual game itself. Makes you think that they didn't have that terrain in it, the uh, game might have benefited. But it's nice to see that. 48k, £1.99, brilliant, so you could have bought it with your pocket money. The aim of the channel, as you probably know already, is not expert gameplay, although that does happen uh, quite random at some point. It's trying to see what your first or second go would have been like to the newbie player. Would there have been enough there for you want to play it again? Would it have been a classic, or would you just played it once and then forgot the thing ever existed? I would have played this a few times, actually. It's quite basic. You don't have to read through lots of uh, separate instructions, and it's good for a knock around for about a few minutes. So I would have played it quite a bit, I think in between other games. It wouldn't have been my main showcase game, but it would have been a good one amongst the uh, the rabble. Hurrah! Right, so this is a ship, or is it some mechanical jellyfish? Looks like um, that ship a little bit out of Stingray. Stingray, Stingray, blah, 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 and etc, etc. So O slower, P faster, Q, A, uh, well up is Q and A is down. 
And that's pretty much it really. There is a demo mode, there's a trainer mode as well. Perhaps the poke didn't work then. I thought I was going to go all the way to the end. Let's hope it works this time. Right. Bomb the base across this place. Did 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 did. Oh, that's like um Xenon Two. Did 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 did. The Xenon Two music was playing here from the Commodore uh, Amiga. That would be pretty good, wouldn't it? Did 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 did. Perhaps the poke isn't working at all. Right, it's gone down to two lives. Let's keep let's keep an eye on that. Right, a forward forward motion. Hocus pocus as we fly through. Right, two lives, two lives. Oh, it's staying on two lives. Right, okay, so we're going to see the end. Keep an eye on the fuel. That's the only thing that can catch us out now. But as soon as we shoot other fuel perils, it goes up again. So you see, it just zipped above a thousand. Don't know how we can get that, utilise the whole of the fuel display, but I think that's a bit, a bit confident. Now, I'm quite interested. Oh, look, like, the scenery's changed a little bit there. I didn't notice that before, like the colour. It went from, well, cyan blue to blue cyan. Be interested to see what the next stage is going to be like. So that's always the interest of a kid. So a nice little game, this, for a budget price. Hasn't aged particularly well. Um, if you didn't play it back in the day or similar games, and you never owned Spectrum, and you started on PlayStation, you struggle to find a reason why you would play this, because it's all about the nostalgia. But as a guy uh, who lived through this era, I'm, I'm quite liking it. It's giving me a nice feel. Case off, 1984. Oops. Bashed into another mutant uh, meteor slash jellyfish. Don't want to be doing that. Oops, I seem to be dying every two seconds now. So I think we can safely say that the poke is on. The poke is on. Did it, did it, did it, did it, did Boo boo. Right, good stuff. If you're liking the channel and the nonsense I talk, and you you want to talk some nonsense too, then consider subscribing to the channel. It doesn't take itself too seriously. It's not encyclopedic like uh, most. It's all about different opinions as well. You might agree with me, you might disagree with me. That's all okay. Uh, it's a bit of a forum, a friendly forum, to talk about those times. Well, long gone. But we've still got them back, haven't we? Through emulation and uh, new games coming out. And the um, well, Spectrum still lives. Spectrum still lives, which is more than you said for this Stingray guy. Seems to be dying every four seconds. 8-bit wonderment. Oops, no DLCs here. It looks like the scenery's going to change. Would have got there eventually with lots of practice. So we've got red on dark blue now. Oops, and there's green balls about the place. Avoid those green balls. Right, so it'd be interesting to see how many stages there are on this. I'll try and play it properly. I'll try and avoid getting shot by stuff. You never know, I might get away with it. This seems a bit easier than the stage before, he says, as he collides into a rocket ship. Do check out the reviews of Penetrator and Cabin Fighter, so you can get a bit of an understanding of what ones are best, what ones you prefer. But, uh, yeah, no. Follow, they all follow like a, a, a set, really. Generally, there's radar dishes and rockets taking off, and occasional random other stuff that will come up to meet you. But plot your path through the melee, and then you can be victorious. I think you've got it, haven't you, really? Lunar attack. Although it does look like it's in the ocean. Under the sea. Right, so fuel's looking okay. I think I'd be surprised if that ever runs out. But as soon as you get into the rhythm of this game, how the enemies move, I think you could be doing it quite easily. So cyan on red there. It says phase four. Now, I wonder if they're going to be 10 phases, 20 phases, or just five phases. Hopefully we uh, find out. Well, we, we are, we are going to find out with Infinite Lives, unless it goes on for hours, because I don't think I can, good as this game is from a nostalgia point of view, I don't think I can play it for half an hour. It's just uh, good for a few minutes knock around, I would say. Whoops. This might be the first time you're seeing it, but if you're familiar with Scramble, uh, the gameplay will look pretty familiar to you. Don't need to read through heaps of instructions to know what to do here. It's a survival game. Bomb and shoot. That's pretty much it. Don't know where they're going. See you later, lads. Right. The, the shot does sound like um, like a, a budgie we got. Oh, what's that? Is that an end of level boss? Oh, that's the end. So there's four phases. It was quite a, a brief game, actually, then. Yeah, four phases. So I think we'll take the poke off again. See how far I get without it. But yeah, I quite like this game. Uh, good graphics, good nostalgia feel. Hasn't aged particularly well, but good for the 1984. One last go as it always uh, has, um, draws you in, 
Now, I've got just three normal lives here, but there's four phases, so it's doable. It doesn't go on forever, this game. It is quite brief, but what was you expecting for £1.99? It's shorter than Cabin Fighter, but uh, a bit easier too. Without the cheat on, I seem to get through um, the first two stages okay. So I'm already halfway through the game without, as a newbie, without too much trying. If you had this back now, I think you would have completed it over and over again. So one of those completable ones. Don't get a good end of level uh, sequence there. It just, well, the game just ends, doesn't it, really? No fanfare or anything like that. You didn't get, you didn't get much of completing games back in the day. That is for sure. If you were lucky, you got a few screens saying you completed such and such percent and stuff you'd done. But then that was pretty much it. Right. He's surviving a while, isn't he? Uh, a bit tight up there. In Cavern Fighter, there's oops, in Cavern Fighter, there's a lot of tight places to get around. A bit of colour clash there, it's gone a bit yellow, that hill. Oh man, it put me in the right wrong place there. So that was too, I was doing quite well and I lose two lives quite quickly. Goodness gracious me. Oh, oh no. I lost my I lost my super skills. Du, du, du. Yes, I hope you liked having a look at that one. If you was alive back in the era or get a nostalgia buzz on that, I would say track it down. Um, overall, I quite liked it. It's not going to blow the world away, but from a retro point of view, I think it's a pretty good game for 199 So that was Lunar Attack on the ZX Spectrum 48K, published by Ksoft in 1984. Got any comments about this game, similar games, or anything retro, then please put that below. You're always more than welcome. Until next time, take great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.